Okay, today we're going to be working on 7.4, part number two, and we're going to create subassembly one, which is going to be the T9 bed. We're going to need two T9 axles and one T9 one block socket. We go into Inventor, we're going to hit New, Standard IAM for a new assembly. We're going to create. First thing we're going to do, place. We're going to place our T9 bed. Left click, wait till it appears. Right click, hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and ground that part. Grounded. Then we'll go and place the next item. So I'm going to place the axle. I'm going to place two of those. Click there. Left click again. And then right click OK. That allows us to keep, you can continue to keep adding the same part over and over by just left clicking multiple times. And then right click OK whenever you're done. Then we're going to get the one block socket. We're going to go ahead and add that as well. Left click, right click OK. So we're ready to go on this. First thing we're going to do is do a constraint. I like to use insert for parts like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the outside circle on that. Rotate my part around. Get the inside circle of that. Go ahead and hit apply. Do the same thing with the other axle. Uh, it's kind of rotated funny. So we're going to do a free rotate part and we're going to rotate that around get a little bit closer so inventor can find out how to do everything i'm going to go ahead with the insert draw that outside circle and you're going to notice that it placed it inside so if you clip right there it'll go ahead and reverse it and apply so now we're looking at the next piece i found out a new trick as well if you hold down shift and you push down the center button we usually use to scroll you can go ahead and do a free rotation that way. Makes it much easier than coming over here all the time for that. So that's holding down the shift button and using the uh, roller wheel, pushing that down and rotating. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this piece here. Get it configured a little better. It's good enough. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a flush constraint. So if you come over here to the mate, the right one is gonna be flush. What I'm gonna do is flush up the front surface of that with the front surface of this. That'll kind of line things up. I'm going to apply. Then I'm going to come and do some mate commands. So I'm going to mate. What I want to go ahead and mate is the this lip. So it's not the big piece, but it's the little lip going around. You can see how that lip is there. And I'm going to do that to the right side of the bit. Go ahead and apply. Close that out so I can go ahead and move it. And you have the capabilities of going and moving the parts still in one direction. So you can go ahead and do that, get it out of your way to figure it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and mate, mate the inside of this lip or the outside of that lip with the inside of this piece. And then apply, OK, and we should be good. Now I like to go ahead and check things, move them around, see if everything's fully constrained, still rotate the axles, but everything else looks good. All right, there's our first sub-assembly. File, save as sub 1A. Uh, no need to save the other parts. I haven't edited anything, so I'm gonna click OK. And that's it, sub-assembly number one is complete.